Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. In this video, I want to talk about improving your expectations so you can improve your muscle and strength building results. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas, I turn into videos just like this. All right, if you're wondering why I'm growing out the beard, I'm doing the 10-100 program that you can find over at my website, superlivingtoday.com. Going to grow the beard over the course of the 100 days, see how ugly I can get. If you're interested in the program, just check it out. Now, expectations. I just wrote an article about this for my members only section on uh, my website, but I want to share with you a thought about expectations and a little bit of a story. Um, there was a gentleman who was a follower who wanted to come work out with me and on a Saturday and I asked if my wife could join us because quite frankly she was bored and she wanted to hit the gym and all that kind of good stuff. So we did chest and triceps. Now after about the second set of bench press, pushing ourselves to the limit, you could kind of tell that this gentleman was not used to pushing himself that hard in the gym. He was about done. And his eyes were kind of looking a little bit, you know, glassed over like he was just uh, uh, about done. So we went on and did uh, dumbbell bench press for three sets of 15. And he, he chose, I believe, uh, 45 or 50s. And then my wife chose 45s. And it was about at that point where you could kind of see. Uh, my wife did 15 rep sets with 45s. Um, you could kind of see something starting to click in his head where he realized that after 25 years of lifting, and this is a, this is a legitimate story, 25 years of lifting and 15 inch arms, he was barely lift, lifting more than my wife was lifting. Now my wife is certainly no superhuman female as far as lifting goes, but you could just start to see the mechanisms churn in his head that something wasn't right with his training. Now, we did a couple more exercises, and then we moved on to triceps, and we did cable tricep extensions. And um, my wife went first, or he went first, excuse me, and he put the pin at 70 and proceeded to knock out 10 to 12. I don't really remember. And then my wife went on, and she put the pin in 100, uh, and she didn't do that to crush his ego. That's just what she's always done on the cable tricep extension. She put the pin in the 100s and knocked out 15 reps. Um, and you could kind of see it. It was again at this point, the second time in the workout, where he's just reflecting on something is not right with my training. Now, he took the pin this time, took it, and didn't put it back in 70. He put it in 110, just a hair above what my uh, wife had done. And he proceeded to go, not beast mode, because I hate to overuse beast mode, but best mode. He went 15 reps. He pushed himself for the first time in that workout to do something that exceeded his expectations. And really, that is the point of this video. This guy had been in the gym for 25 years. And his strength was barely above what my wife was doing. And his arms were only 15 inches. His goals, he wanted to pack on size. Now, obviously, something was missing. And it, it, during this workout, it clicked for him. His expectations were too low. He wasn't challenging himself. When things felt hard or challenging in the gym, he would just kind of stagnate and stay at the same place. You can't do this. What you need to do, and this is why I preach maximizing sets. Everybody will overcomplicate muscle building. Uh, we'll get into debates about theory. We'll get into debates about study. But the problem with theories and study studies is that 90% of folks that want to get bigger aren't even doing the basics. They aren't even doing step one. They aren't even bringing up their expectations. They aren't even making their sets count. And that is why I preach this above all things. If you can just have the goal of adding one rep to each set or to any sets of an exercise during a workout and keep that focus day in and day out, week in and week out, year in and year out for five to 10 years, you are going to pack on size. The problem is so many guys stop trying to add a rep when things feel difficult because they feel like if it, if it is a challenge, 
you know, they just, it, it's too much effort for them. They can't possibly do it. They can't sustain this. There are two types of lifters. One that, one's uh, the type of lifters that just stop pushing themselves when things feel a little bit challenging. And that's this guy. Same weight for God knows how long. He's barely lifting more than, than uh, uh, you know, my wife. And then you have the guys that expect more out of themselves and they push even when things feel challenging because they expect more and they want more out of themselves. And at the end of the day, all the studies and all the theory and all the debates and all the bullshit doesn't fucking matter for 90% of lifters out there because they have low expectations. They are this guy and they are not pushing themselves hard enough in the gym and they can change workouts all they want. They can change set and rep schemes all they want. They can debate studies all they want. They can chase all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it won't matter if your expectations suck. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.